What's up YouTube? Land Bear here. In this episode we are going to explore some of the Smoldering Lake and the uh, Demon's Demon King's Antechamber. So let's get started. So in this area up ahead, Smoldering Lake, there is a giant ballista that will wreck your ass. Definitely don't want to fuck with that thing. Uh, let me see if I can point it out before it starts shooting at us. So you can see that thing firing at us. We are going to get to that eventually. Now there's items all over this area. We're not going to bother with those right now. We're just going to try and get the heck out of here without getting shot. We have a giant worm. We have a tre tremors worm. I'm, you know, doing stuff. But in this area, we are just going to get out of here for now. Just run and get out of dodge. Uh, there's a boss battle through there, which we're going to fight in a later episode, so we're not going to worry about that area right now. One thing we actually are going to do is have this ballista shoot that damn worm. So if I stand right... Ah, frig off. <laughs> if I stand, I think, right by this rock here, we should be safe. I'm going to have that ballista take out that worm. Yep, perfect. Uh, I don't want to fight that worm. I just, you know, I want it to get cheesed. So that ballista is going to do damage enough for us to take out that stupid worm. So, uh, die, worm, die. You should be dying. So we're just going to hang here. It's going to be pretty uneventful. But that ballista should take out the worm. So why is it not taking out the worm? Stand over a little bit more, maybe. But that ballista should be taking out this worm and it's missing with every shot all right there we go so the worm's almost dead <clears throat> i'm just gonna sit here have a glass of scotch and uh come on you dingleberry hit the damn worm thing's accurate enough to hit me but it's not accurate enough to hit this huge ass worm all right so a couple more shots you can see the worm's health bar is low that did Okay, come on, Dark Souls. Hitbox, man, for real. No bueno. Fucking went right through its body. It's horse hockey, if you ask me. Alright, one more shot and this stupid fucking worm will be dead. And then we can move along. And I could actually do stuff. Ah, worm is dead. Suck it, nerd. Alright, so. That way leads to the boss. This way leads to a bonfire and progression of this area. Now, uh... Obviously, I walk past a metric fuck ton of loot. We'll get that uh, once that ballista is shut down, because that thing's a pain in the dick. So, we're going to move along. <clears throat> I'm going to take a seat, found ourselves a new bonfire. And also, we'll stand up, take a look at what this bond, what that uh, worm gave us. He gave us a spell Lightning Stake. I could use a steak right now. So take a look at that. Enjoy. I need 35, um, 35 faith for that. So we will most likely never cast that spell ever. Sorry, folks. But this is not a faith build. So we're going to make our way down here. There's going to be fire enemies galore down here. There will be fake, fake walls uh, or um, faux wall, I guess, would be appropriate. So, we have a new enemy type here, casting fire, and he hits hard, my goodness. So I'm going to go ahead, pop a heal. Alright, so he cast a fireball. Now that fire orb that he cast will will actually uh, just spit fire bomb, fire fireballs at me. So, uh, when you take him out, it will die. So... Okay, so he hit hard. My god, I didn't think they hit that hard. <clears throat> uh, there is a stairway down here. We won't be taking that now. We'll be going through there later. But we're going to progress through this way. And uh, fight some poison mongering sons of bitches. Yep, poison. The mist has huge range. My goodness. But... My, uh, ah, crap. 
I believe that's not just poison mist, I also believe that is a toxic. Fuck off! I don't want to be toxic. Poison's not a big deal, but toxic is a big deal, so. Let's take this asshole out. And I'm gonna get rid of that poison. I'm gonna equip some poison moss, which I should have plenty of. I do. Alright. <clears throat> so, we were getting wrecked early on, but that's alright. Now this also leads to an area we will be going to eventually. Uh, I'm about to try and make a jump, and if I fail that jump, I'll be going up that stairwell we just passed. So here we have the jumping satyrs, satires, whatever you want to call them. But uh, I'd rather not die to them, so let's roll and slash and smash and bang. Okay, cool, cool beans. <clears throat> Yes. Guys are annoying as sin. Alright. Didn't get my attack off. <clears throat> so we are running through Estus like nothing right now. Titanite shard. For all the trouble you gave me, you can't drop a large shard? Really? Cheap bastards. Alright, so anyway. Very is very cool. There's a bunch of uh, demons all over the place. We have a goo monster here, and a fire statue here. So can we clip the wall? Yes, we can. Suck it, nerd. All right, now these guys are, unfortunately, their weakness before was fire. Well, now they're kind of like made of fire, so uh, they are not weak to fire whatsoever. But they are weak to blunt force, son. So, good day, sir. Thank you. Ember. <clears throat> All right. So this jump is a pain in the dick. Uh, I'll bring us over. You can see that it's a wider gap than your average jump. So we're gonna have to jump at the very last second. Chances are I won't make this jump, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, look at that. And we have an Estus Shard. Sweet. So I'm going to just run through this hallway and not bother with any of these guys. They could drop down, but they won't be chasing me down anytime soon. Oh no, a dead end. Oh, Dark Souls, you're so silly. So we have another bonfire. Now there's another way to get to this area. I chose to take the, uh, the shortcut. And you're coming at me. Okay. Bold. Alright, you wield the great machete. Alright. Really? You got some range, boy. Alright, simmer the fuck down. So he cast his fire orb and now it will it will perish since I killed him, so. Oh, he dropped the chaos gem. I don't know if that's normal. That must be a regular drop, but oh, you also dropped a Titanite shard. So we're gonna take a seat, <coughs> gain our uh, our souls, or not our souls, our uh, our stamina and such. So we're gonna take him out potentially. These guys have a tons of tons of health. My God, every enemy I've seen uh, that I've come across has been just getting wrecked by my. Uh, my great chicken wing but these guys they're resilient so anyway let's explore I don't know this area like the back of my hand so I guess this part will be more more let's play than walk through but we're gonna we're gonna learn together folks so should be fun should be a lot of fun so we have see I knew it Dark Souls you funky bunch so these guys love their damn poison but they do not love blunt force damage I'll pop a heal why not all right let's see if we could surprise this this friend of ours here hello love oi Good day, home run, out the park, just like Cespit is a couple minutes ago. Now here we have an Isolith Pyromancy Tome. Now, 
this tome. I do not believe Cornix wants this pyromancy tome. But let's take a look at that. Feel free to check that out. That actually might be what Cornix wants. There are two pyromancy tomes in this area. I know that Cornix only wants one of them. And I think that's the one he wants. I'm not 100%. We'll find out shortly. But uh, eventually, in this area, I will be able to pick up great combustion. What was it? Great pyromancy flame. I, ah, crap. I'm kind of forgetting the name right now. Forgive me. I'm not perfect, guys. So forgive me. But um, there is a pyromancy that we will want to use. So one of these tomes in this area will be absolutely wonderful. Oh, hello, love. Oh, you're going to get away? It doesn't look like it. No. No, not today, friend. Another Chaos Gem. Alright, so now we have two of those. So that's the extent of this area here. So we're going to go ahead and move along. Alright, that's just a random hole. So we will uh, continue on with the playthrough. And and uh, have have a good time. So that is the extent of that area. That's the extent of that area. That's as far as you can go. And I do not believe there are any invisible walls there. So we are done with this spot. So I'm going to get my uh, flasks back. And we're going to explore this area down here now. <clears throat> Alright. So we can go that way. We can go this way. And this is a big area here. Let's let's check it out. Hello. How do you like big home run hits? <laughs> Not so much. All right. Enough of these Titanite shards, man. Come on now. We're big boys. We want large shards. But we are not getting them. Just not coo. Not coo. All right. Oh, you're standing up now. Oh, you're a caster, aren't you? Nah, I don't like that. I like it when y'all type be dead. Tighten it. Ugh. Lame. But yeah. Okay, so we got another one of these weird things. What, these demon sa satyrs, right? Satire satyrs? I, I don't know. Who knows? <clears throat> but let's move on. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope my mic is in prime position after that adjustment. I would hope so. Okay, so I think this is one of the ways I said we could go down. Uh, we have an item here. I'm expecting trouble. Not getting it, so that's odd. Usually in a hallway like that, there's something to be expected, but I guess not. Okay, so this is where we came from. That's the way I said we could go. And we did... Uh, there has to be something else. Oh, that's right. Okay, here's another another way to go in here. Uh, so let's take this way because we did not take it last time. Oh, hey. Alright, nice. One shot. It's about time. Titanite Shard, Titanite Shard. Thank you. We have a, f a s stone flamer. Good day, sir. Thank you for being a thorn in my side. But let's move on. We're going to take out this weird four four-legged demon thing and then see if we can clip this wall. Cheese, my friend. Cheese. All right, sweet. So, now technically that wasn't cheesing. I don't know if there's a technically when you talk about cheesing, but now if you see here there's a bunch of bodies stacked up. And that looks like the tail of the stray demon. Um Yeah very interesting which is a bunch of bunch of carcasses hanging around but we're going to keep on going <clears throat> now i don't believe there's a ambush right here there's not oh that room's a pain in the ass but this is so easy to miss it really is but a low fake wall you're not a real wall you're a fake wall so we have a great axe wielding dark knight now i remember in fucking Dark Souls 1, seeing this Dark Knight with this awesome axe. 
Uh, and I never got the drop. I always wanted it. Well, actually, I think I did get the drop at the end of the game. But now he didn't drop the axe. Shocker. But here we have a Black Knight sword. Let's take a look, folks. Let's take a look. Black Knight sword. Very easy to pick out. Don't have the dex. We have the strength. And that doesn't matter. Decent damage. I won't be wielding it anytime soon. But take a look at that item. I'm sure you want to. It's Black Knight. So take a look. Pause and check it out. Uh, so that's it with this area. There's no fake walls. In, in this section, anyway. So. Now. In the room that I was looking at. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Jesus Christ. In the, uh. The room I was looking at that sa I said was annoying as hell. We're just going to run through, pick out the item in that room that we need, and then we're going to get out of dodge. Because I think this room was just made to piss people off, really. I really think that. So that's the way we want to go. But unfortunately, we have to run to the end of this room. So we'll go ahead and do that. Do a little bit of uh, Bob and Weaving, Walter Payton style. Now, Walter Payton did get tackled from time to time, so he wasn't perfect, but... Look at that. It's totally a straight demon there. Undead Bone Shard. Woo woo. Oh. <laughs> fucking dick. Okay, so, uh... We're just gonna continue on. In theory, we're gonna continue on. Come on. Really? That's fucking lame. Ah, uh, scotch, scotch, scotch. Uh, numbing my pain. So we got trapped there, but at least we got the undead bone shard. Now that was 26k souls, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those back. I want them. I want those souls in me. So I think we wanted to go this way. I guess we'll. Nah, you won't chase after me, will you guys? You guys are cool. Okay, so we're just gonna run past these things. They chase after us. It'll be more easy, easily uh, managed in uh, in this uh, bottleneck here. So let's see. All right, the whole gang. Shit! Ow. Okay. So I'll pop another heal. I'm gonna run back get my souls and once I pick up my souls we will be taking this left here so let me grab my souls and we'll go from there but yeah you could so you can understand why I think that this room is a pain in the dingle and it is perfect indoor conditions air temp okay so let's see if we can get out of here without wasting like a bunch of Estus and it looks like we can do so. So, you see a bunch of stairways here. That will bring us up to the first area, which we do not need to venture into at the moment. So, we're going to make our way down here and continue on with the damn walkthrough. So, we have a rat. Rats are tough. Toughest enemies in the game, hence the bar none. So, okay. So, we have a couple ways we can go. And I think I'll go this way first. I'll pop a heal. And then fight more ratos now uh, if there wasn't this oh wait pardon not done yet All right. double kill illusion ahead that's a good message I appreciate a good message he was not lying illusion ahead indeed so we can go drop down there or we can go this way now like I said there are two pyromancy tomes in this area look at that Quailana Pyromancy Tome. One of these tomes is going to drop a Pyromancy that I really want to use. But, take a look at that. I'm sure y'all want to uh, check out that item info, so feel free. Okay, so down here we have Lava Pit. We all love Lava Pits. Now I could take off, I could put on my Fire Resist gear and all my best Fire Resist stuff. I don't have Flash Sweat, I don't believe. I haven't picked it up. Uh, but in this area, there is a a pyromancy toxic mist and a miracle or a uh, a uh, chime that I can get. I will not be using either of those, so I'm not going to waste my time. 
if you guys want to see what those items are feel free to look up on another YouTube channel see what they are but I do not give a flying fuck about those items so I will not be getting them because they're things I won't use for you know just a bunch of pain and suffering so if you want them feel free uh, also uh, where we picked up the Quailana pyromancy tome look at that I mean is that not exactly reminiscent of Quailana herself we have a dead body holding on to the actual thing itself like look at that 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 is cool that's a nod to uh, Dark Souls right there it must be so anyway I think believe that's where we came from right now oh yes okay it is right so we're actually going to make our way this way you jerk Oh, no, don't get stuck. It's death by getting stuck. Oh, my God. That is so lame. Two deaths in this playthrough. Fuck my ass. All right. Ugh, fuck me. All right, so we're going to make our way back there. These, I hate it when I get stuck and I can't roll out. Roll out. That's a fucking pain in the ass. Now, I'm even going the right way. I don't even remember where I'm supposed to be going right now. Yes, I do. That was a lie. I remember. Remember, Simba. Remember. So we're just going to run past these guys. Eventually they will leash. Because I'm not going to bother with this area straight ahead anymore. I'm just going to hook a left and go from there. But my god, really? Death to a bunch of rats? That's, that's, that's some bush league shit if you ask me. Lambert is weak. So about that leashing thing, I'm not really feeling that, are you? I mean, I was going to spare your life, you fucking idiots, but you wanted to come at me, well, then you're going to fucking die. So whatever whatever you want to do, I guess, you dingle berets. So this is the way we went and we dropped down. I'm going to pick up my souls, which are thankfully right there. So I'm not going to drop down this time. I'm going to go and explore these other routes you can take. Because like I said, this area to me is confusing as fuck, so I'm trying to just remember the routes you can take. Okay, so. Hello, love. Alright, so here, I believe, uh, if you fall into that lava pit, there is actually... Um, uh, uh, that's the lava pit where I said I'm not going to bother with. Okay, so that does just bring you right back here. Okay. Alright, that's what I thought. So, uh, we still have that drop down area here. Or we could go this way and then take a right, which is something we have not done yet. So we'll take this right here and see what this area here has to offer. Man, I got pissed like a fucking racehorse. Ugh. Let's take out Big Fatty here. Come on, love. So close to the one shot, just short, just shy of that. Alright, so I think, yep, that's where we can drop down. We got a bunch of rats here. These are the sons of bitches that killed me. Noob style. Alright, simmer down now, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. Uh, so I don't believe there's anything of note over here. Yet. Definitely no fake walls or anything like that. So... All right, I remember back back when I was watching LPs of Dark Souls 2 way back. Um, I actually watched a video where some guy said like, "All right, pardon me, I'm gonna pause the video so I can go to the bathroom." And I thought that was fucked up. Now the reason I brought that up is because I have to piss so fucking bad right now. But I'm not gonna like just be like, "Hey, you guys, hang out for a minute. I gotta take a leak." That's fucking stupid. It always boggled my mind that some guy would, in his LP, go to the fucking bathroom. That's so weird. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, ah, don't want to get cursed. I'm just going to suffer through. I want to finish up this video. See if I can make it to the area I'm going for before I before I retire this, this video. But boy, I really, man, I'm not lying. Like... My bladder is screaming at me right now. 
I'm sure that's what you guys want to hear about too. So, <laughs> sorry about that. But we're just gonna kill these uh, frog froggies. Uh, let's not get cursed because that means I have to run all the way back here, and I'm not really in the mood to do that. So, I'd rather just continue on. Shit. Where are you? <laughs> there you are, hippie. Da, da, suck it, da. Okay, so, an item, Titanite scale. Nice, love them scales. Uh, we have an item that we can drop down to, and I don't know how the fuck to get to that item. So, all right, walk through score number one. So I guess we'll just continue. I'll have to figure out what that item is and figure out if it's worth it or not. Chances are it's probably a fucking prism stone or something useless. So, so we have a stairs stairs to progress progress this area, and we also have this area here now. To fans of the uh, fume ultra great sword. Yep. Okay, this is it. Fume Ultra Great Sword. This is where you can get that weapon. All right, so this fight is tough. You gotta, you gotta be smart here. This guy is no joke. You see, he does, you know, decent damage. That was stupid of me. All right, so time to be smart, folks. Time to be smart. Uh, just so you know, there is a pyromancy here that we're not gonna bother with, and a uh, an ember which I'm not gonna bother with. So, I'm happy for y'all to know that. Sacred Flame is there, and Ember is there. If you want it, my thanks. Oh, that's how you get my thanks. Gotcha. All right, so we got the Fugs, the Fume Ultra Great Sword. Now, it shouldn't be called the Fugs, because Great Sword is one word. So, in that acronym, it should be Fug. But what do I know? I can't control what the internet calls things. But, yeah, let's uh, take a look at those items. Oh, and the Night Slayer's ring. So we have a lot of shit to look at. So we'll just go what what with what we see first. A few multiple great sword, 50 strength. Well, don't really have that. <laughs> uh, if you want to read that, please feel free. Now we also have uh, what else dropped? A ring. A ring and a shield. All right, this is a black iron shield. Great shield. Pardon. So that's that. Feel free to read it. And also the ring that dropped. The Night Slayer's ring. So I'm not going to bother with that. But that's a lot of item info. So pause now <laughs> if you want to read it. Okay. Now Sacred Flame of Pyromancy is right over there. And an Ember is right over there. Put on your best uh, flame resistant gear. Uh, apply Flash Sweat to yourself. And um... Get that shit if you want it. I don't want it, so I'm not going to waste my time to go get it. If you don't like it, you can just... Get the hell out. So yeah. So we're going to pr progress. We're going to go up the stairway here. And we're going to meet another Black Knight enemy. Alright. So Black Knight. Hello, love. Hello, hello. Alright, so I thought there was an, uh, yeah, uh, a cursed frog up here, but I guess not. Now, I'm not going to fight him on a bridge. Definitely not. That's foolish as, as all hell. So, we're going to... Uh... Oh, no. Okay. Pop a heal. We're not dying to you after all the shit we went through, buddy. No sirree. All right, he's not letting us do a damn thing. Resilient. Oh shit. Really prefer not not dying to this guy. So let's see. Come on, get this attack in. You fuck. Apparently he has way more poise than I do. So I'm going against I'm going against my rule of fighting on bridges, and we're fighting on the damn bridge. Cheese, burnt cheese. Fuck you, asshole. I really did not want to die. I wanted to conclude my my this walkthrough in this area here. If I were to die here, fuck, man, that would have. Uh, let's just say that swears would be had, and I would be mad. 
Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. So that's, uh, I think, a soul item that we have not seen yet in this playthrough. So, either way, we're going to climb up this ladder. It's going to take take some time. I believe this is a decent sized ladder. So let's make our way up. This ladder is tantalizing because, like, it knows I have to go to the bathroom, and this is, oh, it's killing me. Screw you, huge ladder. Screw you. And then it's just like, hey, you made it. Nope, psych. More ladders. Whatever. So, we are making our way to that giant ass ballista. Now, there are a couple enemies in our way. But that's fine. Can this shoot at us from here? Oh, it can, can it? Oh, boy. Let's not get shot by the ballista when we're right by the ballista. Let's let's not have that. Right, gang? Right. Homeward bone. Something we will be using, actually. So it's trying to get to us. Oh, man. I, uh, hold on. Pardon one second. Ah. Boy, do I love my scotch. Alcoholics, beware. You're in for a scare. Hey, drop your shield. I've never seen it. LOL. <laughs> they d wow. Of all the bone wolf skeletons I've seen ever in my life, and in this game, it's dropped twice for me in the span of a couple videos. That's just ridiculous. Alright, cool. Cool beans, bros. Uh, I do not think there are any items on this little area here. That's just where the bone wolf skeletons be hanging out. So, not going to bother with that. We are going to continue. Take these guys out. Now, uh, I am not in ember form, so if I uh, really get into trouble, if I get hit once or twice more, I can just pop my ember form. Uh, Alright, it's these guys. Right. Oi! Oi! Get over here! Alright, so, uh... See if I could pull just one. I'd rather fight just one. Oh man, this is risky. I'm nervous. You know what? I am a coward, folks. I'm gonna pop an ember, get my health back. Oh, look at that. That's sexy. And then get invaded by someone and get killed. <laughs> uh, so, I'm gonna wait for that guy wielding the sh shuttle on the left to make his way back up and pick up this patrolling guy here. Okay. Not exactly how I planned it, but this works out. Fuck you! One more time. Good day, dickweed. Trying to fuck my shit up. Ooh, look at all those drops. Sweet. Okay, so we got one more, and then look at that. You see that huge ass ballista? Look at that beast. That's the one that was A, helping us and giving us grief at the same time. So this guy's fucked. <laughs> Way to go, Dingleberry. Oh, you're not dead. Now you are. Very nice shard. Sweet. Don't need those at all, but thank you. Now, actually, now I'm thinking about it, I think I missed a chest that has, has, um, that had two large shards in that last area, so I'll have to go back and get that chest. But, uh, that Belista is shut down, and we have achieved our goal for this video. Look at that, we have a dead giant there. So, okay. That is that, folks. Now, uh, this area ahead that I'm, I am showing off is now uh, ours. Don't have to worry about this stupid thing anymore, so... Awesome. Good work, Lambert. You are one sexy, amazing Dark Souls destroyer. So what I think I'll do, I think I'll homeward bone and uh, just start doing the uh, smoldering lake from uh, its first bonfire. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. So, uh, oh, although, by the way, I did put on this helm that makes me kind of look like a mummy because, you know, mummies are cool. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Give me money. 
uh, if you uh, private message me I will give you my information so you can give me some money so thanks for watching y'all and uh, go fuck yourself San Diego